Hey guys, welcome to Bastion Time. I'm your host, Bastion. Let's get to some Zelda news. First of all, Mr. Anuma has clarified some things about A Link Between Worlds in a recent interview, including the Mai Mais and uh, Yuga, the villain that we've seen that looks kind of like a Gerudo. He says, actually, that person is not a Gerudo. He just feels like the designers were kind of inspired by Gerudo's... It doesn't make sense to me. I mean, it, it looks like a Gerudo, but... Um, and that, uh, as far as whether it's male or female, he says it's male, but purposefully androgynous, um, kind of like Girahim. Uh, and that also the name Yuga, I guess in Japan, Yuga, or a derivative of it, is a word for oil painting. So since Yuga is painting a lot in the game, sucking people in the paintings, that's how Yuga got his name. So now we know. He also dropped another hint about Majora's Mask remake and its connection to A Link Between Worlds. If you want to read all of that, there's a link for you down below. We also found out another interesting tidbit about A Link Between Worlds, and it is the fact that it's got a higher difficulty setting after you complete it. So basically like a hero mode, except you can't choose it right from the get-go. You actually have to do a new game plus. Kind of situation, the second quest, if you will. So that's going to be pretty awesome. I'm really glad that Zelda team is really focusing on making this a part of subsequent Zelda games because it's been needed for a long time now. I mean, I've been playing, uh, I played Wind Waker HD the first time with in normal mode, and now I've been playing Pajama Quest, is what I calls it when he wears his blue shirt. Um, in hero mode, and it's a lot of fun in hero mode. Really difficult, I'm dying way more than I ever thought I would in a 3D Zelda game, but fun. Mr. Numa also dropped a bombshell on us, and it is the fact that he was planning on talking, showing something about Zelda Wii U at the Comic-Con in New York uh, last week or the week before, whatever that was, but he didn't have enough time to prepare anything because he's been so busy with the Link Between Worlds and preparing for that. So he says he will be announcing something shortly. But then a completely different uh, news source says that all he'll say is that he will be uh, talking about it at E3. Maybe both? Maybe he will be talking about it at E3, but will also be announcing something shortly? We'll have to wait and see, I guess. But my guess is we won't get anything too big until E3 in June. And then our final little silly story is this Deku Shrub cake. That's impressive. I never thought Deku Shrubs looked so delicious. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Zelda News. See you guys tomorrow for Nintendo News. See you then. Bye.